Hello, welcome to TechWeb Dots. Today, I am going to discuss the third principle of Solid Design Principle, which is Lisco Substitution Principle. And this session is for beginners. So let's move ahead without wasting time. So in my previous consolidated video, I have already explained all the solid principles, but this time I am explaining in detail. So we will focus only on Liskov substitution principle. If I strongly recommend you to watch the previous video, so you will have a brief idea what all these principles are about. Okay, so the link is given in the description of this video. Let's move ahead. So. What is the golden rule of Liskov substitution principle? So this rule is given by Barbara Liskov in 1988 and she said subtypes must be substitutable for their base type, right? So this is very important statement and this is again an extension of the open close principle that we have recently discussed right so what do we mean by this statement so in programming language form we can say objects in a program should be replaceable with instances of their subtype without altering the correctness of the program this is very important it means we are not making any uh, uh, you know problem or any error we are not making any behavioral changes right so it says without altering the correctness of the program and without bringing any errors in the system either those are on compile time or runtime and prevent the creation of complex hierarchy this this is again a very important point when you think about the uh, uh, long-term vision point of view from maintainability point of view right so prevent the creation of complex hierarchy for the classes right for example suppose there is a class or interface which name is class 1 and there are two other classes class 2 and class 3 right and those two classes class 2 and 3 inherit from class 1 so all the features of class 1 will be available in, in class 2 and class 3 but what golden rule says subtypes must be substitutable for their base types so what will happen then if you will create a object of class 2 and class 3 so those can be passed whenever class 1 is expected right so just to put this in a code form so you can see we are creating a class an object it is null this time or it can be an interface so either class or interface right so in obj we can pass new instance of subtypes or you can say the drive type right which are class 2 and class 3 so this object can contain its object okay so this is allowed because class 2 and class 3 set to inherit from class 1 interface right so i hope this statement is clear what it is about it looks simple but it is not there are you know very uh, either intentionally or and intentionally we are violating this Liskov substitution principle because there are many important things that we should understand right so violating LSP often result in use of runtime type checking means at runtime we are checking what object we should use and then we are getting the result right there can be many example so I take this example this is super simple so it will be really helpful for all the beginners so I will try my best to make it super simple for you so you can see there is a class which is apple right and in that there is a method which is of get color and we are just returning red from here again we are creating one more class which is of orange and which is again the uh, the base class is apple which is inheriting here and here we are giving a new definition of get color with the use of new keyword right so when we are calling the instance of this orange right and we are able to assign this orange object into apple object instance right or you can say it this apple object reference type variable right this is what this principle says subtype must be substitutable this orange is my subtype right substitutable for their base type so instead of using base class object i am using subtype object or you can say the orange object 
correct so this is what we are doing so at runtime you will not get any error right and in terms of result if you are getting because we are creating instance of orange and we will get the orange as a result no it will return red and without giving any error right so even we can solve this problem with the help of by applying the uh, virtual keyword over here in the in this get color and we can override the new behavior instead of new we can use override and then if we will create or we will call the same statement again apple is equal to new of orange in that case we will receive the orange but very important point so in this non lsp given example when you substitute base class instance with child class instance you will not get expected response that we have seen right it will return red but think about the clean design and clean abstraction and the relationship between classes is this adhering that no it is actually violating the lsp rule so note if the child class have properties and methods that doesn't make sense for them even they come from the parent class so it's time to refactor redesign the inheritance right because in if you are see this relationship do you think is it right no no we are inheriting the features of apple in orange which is not the correct relationship right so let's move ahead to see what can be the possible solution so you have seen right we will not get any error any exception because of the runtime decision we don't know what will happen but the behavior that we expect we will not get right so if we think about the relationship and the functionality that we are making so the clean solution can look like this so we can create one interface which is of ifruit right and in that we can have one method of get color so this ifruit can be implemented by this apple class right and we can provide the okay it will return red and same ifruit interface can also be implemented by this orange class and it will return orange and when we will call so again this is this is the actual uh, uh, you say actual lsp definition we are giving here the ifruit and in that we can assign the orange instance right and we will get the current correct result which is orange and the same if we assign the instance of apple then we will get the red which is expected right so this is the correct implementation of lsp right so what we understood now if we will run this program so we will get the output as we are expecting and we are following the lsp as we are now able to change the object with its subtype right so our uh, the base class is ifruit or base interface is ifruit and its subtype is apple and orange so without affecting the behavior we can implement a more uh, more different implementation for example this is for apple this is for orange we can again implement for grapes as well so we are not making any changes in this ifruit class correct we are just giving more implementation correct so in this way it is extensible and it is the next version of open close principle but we have to implement it very carefully so ifruit which is going to be the base class for both apple and orange and now you can replace the ifruit variable and can be replaced with its subtype either apple or orange and it will behave correctly and will give you the correct result i hope it is clear for you now i just take I just took very simple example here so you can easily understand okay now there are few more things before move ahead previously I also explained this principle with the help of abstraction and implement it with without LSP and with LSP so if you will see here we have some class and again we have even number some class we are using the new keyword we are providing new implementation but to get the correct result we have to implement we have to create the instance of even number some calculator so if you want to see this implementation detail so i will strongly recommend you to watch the previous video once again right but again we can normalize it by using calculator class which can be implemented by some calculator and even number some calculator and finally if we can call this then it also provides the 
correct result and you will see both even number sum calculator instance and sum calculator both we are assigning to calculator right so this is the beauty of this let's go substitution principle right so the most important point that we understood from this LSP is LSP follows the characteristics of best inheritance hierarchies and LSP avoids the traps that will cause us to create hierarchies that do not conform to open close principle. The importance of this principle becomes obvious when you consider the consequences of violating it. So we have to be very careful. When LSP principle is in effect, so applications are more maintainable, robust and reusable. So Liskov substitution principle is one of the principle and prime enabler for open close principle that we have just seen, right? So, so the substitutability of subtypes allows a module expressed in terms of base type to be extensible without modification. I hope you like this video. If you have any suggestion, any comment, you can leave into the comment box. I will try to reply on that as soon as possible. And your feedback is very important. That's the only inspiration for me to create such videos. So stay tuned for the next video. I will see you there where we will discuss the fourth principle of solid, which is interface segregation. Till then, bye-bye and don't forget to like and subscribe.